Hi, welcome to my channel, Bruja Lily Tarot. Today I am doing a general reading for money and career for the first week of August. Okay, let's see what we got here. Spirit Angels Guides, please give us clear messages for those who are watching, who need some money and career messages. Please give us clear messages for those who are watching. Okay, let's see here. There's clear messages for those who are watching for money and career for the first week of August. Let's see what we got. Money and career. That's the focus. Money and career. Let's see what we got coming. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. We'll pull five cards. Oh, oh, yeah. Interesting. All right. The Ace of Cups and the Knight of Swords, okay? So there's some fast movement, right? With the Knight of Swords, we always know it's about fast movement forward. And the Ace of Cups is about, you know, clearing out something to make way for something new. Okay, so it's kind of like you're clearing out your emotions, perhaps with respect to a money situation, because you're opening up yourself to something new coming in. Okay, and it could be that this new thing will be rushing in for you once you you clear out any perhaps any expectations that you had, any any um, you know longings of some sort. Once you're like clearing this out and making way for something new, something new's coming in. It's going to come in fast, okay, uh, with the Knight of Swords energy. Let's see what we got here. In the first position is the Knight of Staves, okay? This is your current financial situation, okay? So what you're doing here is you're kind of looking at your, your skills. You're evaluating your skills. You're evaluating what you have to offer. You're evaluating your creativity. You're evaluating your passion, okay? And you're kind of in a state of contemplation right now, just wondering like, okay, you know, I have all these things to offer and I have all these skills, but when is something gonna come my way, okay? I feel like you've been waiting for something to come in, okay? You've been waiting for something to present itself and you're kind of in the state of like, you're ready for it, okay? The Knight of Staves is somebody who is ready for an offer. They're ready to make moves. They're, some, they're ready to, to make things happen, okay? Now, uh, let's see here. Where the new sources of income are gonna come from is the star card. That's very good. The star card is about having hope and faith and realizing that things happen as they're meant to happen, right? Sometimes we get tired of hearing that, especially in tarot, but you know, that's what the star card means, right? Is that things are happening as they need to be happening, okay? So you're, what this means in terms of money and career and your new sources of income is that new opportunities are coming for you, okay? It's happening. You're ready for it. They're probably happening now because you're ready for it. Um, so let's see here. What, um, what opportunities you do need to consider is the three of staves, okay? Um, with the three of staves, I always get this, op, you know, this idea of like traveling and exploring, okay? So perhaps for some of you, of course, not for everybody, but for some of you, it could, you need to consider those opportunities that might uh, make you travel, okay? Somewhere where you might need to travel to another location. Some, you may need to travel for work, okay? Um, and it doesn't have to be like just airplane travel, you know? Maybe you're going to be commuting for like an hour or two, and that's not really something you had in mind, but it's what's being presented, Okay, so the opportunities you need to consider is something where you might need to travel more than you thought, but these opportunities are coming in. Okay, is what the, also what the Three of Staves is saying is that you're looking out into the horizon, 
you're ready for these opportunities and they are coming in, but you also need to consider those opportunities where you may need to travel more than you wanted to. Okay. Now, how are these opportunities going to benefit you is the six of cups. Okay. So these new opportunities may make you nostalgic. Okay. Um, they might make you, uh, kind of think about old co-workers even, maybe an old job that you had, uh, maybe old friends that you had, maybe past family situations, okay? It's gonna put you in a very nostalgic mood um, going with these new opportunities, okay? Maybe for some of you, you are gonna be traveling away from your family and that's gonna make you nostalgic because you're gonna be missing your family, okay? For some of you, it could be that you're gonna need to, you know, travel during the week for work and then maybe just come home to your family on the weekends or something, and that's gonna make you nostalgic for them, okay? But, you know, you're, you're kind of ready here for a new opportunity and it's presenting itself to you now, but certain sacrifices that you're going to have to make are, are going to make you, should I say, maybe even a little sad or a little nostalgic. But what's the outcome going to be is the Nine of Cups. It's going to put you back in business, okay? It's going to put you back into being that independent individual who has, you know, their, their themselves in balance, okay? Because now you are back to working, you are back to making money, maybe you're back in your own business, okay? And for some of you, if we look at this in terms of, you know, for those of you who may have your own business, um, what this means is you could be traveling just more for your own business, okay? But it's gonna, it's gonna put you ahead in terms of your, in terms of your business opportunities, you're gonna be able to, to achieve a lot more too, okay? There is something that's gonna make you nostalgic about this opportunity though. And like I said, for some of you, it could be because you have to travel, it could be because you're thinking of past people in your life, okay? Um, but again, in your current financial situation, you're ready for something new, okay? You're kind of itching for, for a new opportunity here, and it's definitely coming, okay? Um, and it's gonna put you back in the game of like being that independent individual who is business-minded, business-oriented, money-oriented too, okay? Here we go, flipped over. Love life. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. Hmm. Okay, so you're gonna make a good decision this week. Let me read that to you again. Love life. Love life. Affairs of the heart could cause future problems, but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week. Hmm. will be resolved by a good decision this week. There you go. So perhaps you're going to make a decision this week that is going to put things at ease for you. Okay. Perhaps with this, this opportunity that's coming here. All right. Oh, we got two cards. Warren Buffett. Let's read this one first. Stability is worth holding on to. Watch the paint dry so long as you've invested in it. Be flashy only in philanthropy. Interesting. Takashi Murakami. If a museum's cash register rings, answer it. The difference between style and brand is copyright. Earn your artistic license to change lanes. Interesting. We all know a lot about Warren Buffett, so I'm not going to read him in the book, but I'll read Takashi Murakami, see what it says. But what this is pointing out to me here is that 
if a museum's cash register rings, answer it. I'm kind of feeling here like this opportunity is coming here for you and you need to, you need to go for it. You need to take that opportunity, okay? Um, because it's going to lead to this financial success and independence. Let's read what the book has to say about Takashi Murakami. I'm not, unfortunately, I'm not too, I don't know too much about him, but let's read here. He was born in Japan in 1962. Reportedly worth over $100 million, artist Takashi Murakami elevates low art to high price tags. He waxes existential about the art market, but auction houses don't give a Sartre when Murakami's super flat manga inspired paintings and diamond encrusted sculptures sell for millions. Murakami's brand includes lucrative collaborations with Louis Vuitton, Kanye West, and others. Even his museum displays sometimes double as merch. Founder of production company Kai Kai Kiki, Murakami throws his name and cash behind emerging artists, an art festival, and humanitarian causes. Another trademark, his colorful public appearances in cosplay outfits. Copyright Murakami. Okay, so maybe hope that provided some inspiration for you guys. Okay, maybe go look up Murakami and see if you are inspired by the kind of art he does or how he lives his life maybe even. Um, Warren Buffett, very two different messages here, right? Warren Buffett is a very kind of older gentleman who has made a lot of money, right? Um, why don't we read about him too, just for fun. All right, Warren Buffett. With money earned proverbially delivering newspapers, Warren Buffett bought his first shares at age 11. Advocate of the long view, buying safe stocks and holding, he practices his preaching as CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, an Omaha-based conglomerate of stable industries, including paint, batteries, and fast food ice cream. Said to have a calculator-shaped brain and infinite patience, Buffett is a coupon-clipping billionaire. Though rarely spending over $3 on breakfast, he splurges on bettering society. One of the world's most progressive and generous philanthropists, he's pledged 99% of its wealth to good causes. That's awesome. All right, so perhaps you found some inspiration from those two messages. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel grow. I am also doing a giveaway for when I reach 3,000 subscribers. So if you want to be part of that giveaway, um, drop me a comment that says 3K and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.